we have our VM set up and provisioned we can start doing some Laravel specific stuff but first let's create let's add to our host file um, by doing a sudo vim host enter and then you'll probably have to put in your password if you haven't done that recently um, but yeah in a lot of these type of tutorials it assumes you have uh, worked with vim before which I haven't um, but I found out if you press you're viewing a file right now so if you press I it puts it in insert mode and then you can come down here and start typing so in Puffet we declared that we wanted that IP address to go to Laravel VM tut and then to get out of this you press escape on the keyboard and then do a colon WQ right quit push enter and it should save those changes so now if I go open up a new tab and go to Laravel VM tut I should see a 404 because in Puffet we told um, the VM to go to the public directory which we don't have yet because we have not downloaded or installed Laravel so let's do that so let's go open up iTerm and then since I'm not very well versed in Laravel go to the quick start and follow the directions composer create project Laravel Laravel uh, Laravel VM tut prefer dist hit enter and that should install Laravel Okay, um, you'll see that Composer is going to complain at me that I don't have the Encrypt PHP extension because it's referencing my Max PHP version, which I'm not going to be using. I'm going to use my VM's 5.4 um, PHP version to, to run the site, so I don't have to worry about that. So now if I open up a finder, and I could all do all this through uh, the terminal, but I'm a visual learner, so I thought this would help. So now I have this new Laravel VM tut directory, uh, but it's in the wrong place. Everything's in the wrong place. So I'm going to copy the contents of it back out to my root, paste all of that, and delete the directory that I just copied from whoa that's not what I wanted there we go okay and so now here is that public directory I now have at the root so what's probably going to happen is Laravel is going to complain that it can't write to uh, the cache which is true so what I need to do is let's see what I have here okay so I want to CD into or I can just do it from here so I want to uh, change the permissions so I'm doing a kmod r 777 to the app slash storage yeah storage directory and then I'm going to do that to the sessions directory. I think R means recursive, so that last 
command was probably unnecessary, but whatever. So let's see if it worked. And there we go. We have Laravel one step closer to being uh, all the way up and running. The next thing we want to do is set it up in a real IDE aka PHP storm so that's that's what I'll do in the next uh, the next part of this little series